Hey everyone, Jack Sellers here. I am super excited to show you Flex Listings, a new powerful kind of listing strategy that adapts to timing, preparation, and privacy needs all within the MLS. Flex Listings are a new limited input option for bringing a listing to market. Designed with your clients' diverse needs in mind, Flex Listings are a lower profile way to begin marketing your listing while still unlocking the power of the MLS. As a high level overview, Flex Listings will not accrue any days on market or price change history, and there's no time limit for a Flex Listing. So you know now you have an environment where you could experiment with a price point before you're ready for a full active listing, or they could also be used for a coming soon marketing period or perhaps another use case when your clients would benefit from more privacy before broader public marketing. Now there's a number of new opportunities unlocked with Flex Listings. And most importantly, since Flex Listings are in the MLS, the broader brokerage marketplace can see what's on the market, bringing potentially more buyers to your property. Now let's take a closer look at the power of Flex Listings. So found under the listing manager and built into the current property type input forms, it is going to be right here under that add edit and listing manager. So one thing to point out, it's going to be on all those property forms except for commercial. So on everyone excluding commercial, so no changes there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start a residential input form and you're going to start it just like you would a normal listing. So you're going to put in that identifier, whether it's a street address, tax ID, MLS ID. We'll start typing that in here. And then once you find it, we're going to go ahead and just start this listing like you normally would, right? Even though we're going to start a flex listing and there's going to be less fields, we want to get as much correct data in there as possible. So when we flip it to a live listing, a full one, you're going to have all that data in there ready to rock. So we're going to say continue fill from tax. And you'll notice the first thing you're going to see right here, guys, is that new field flex listings. It's a yes or no field. Very simple. So when you want to make a flex listing, we're going to click yes. And you're going to immediately notice right over here that our number of required fields has gone down dramatically. So let's kind of go over what you need to get this going. So the first thing, and again, a shortcut is if you click on this little number, it will go to that first required field, which this one is listing agreement. So we'll say exclusive right to sell. And you'll notice over here, list price, it's not required. So again, you know, I think it's a great tool to, you know, test those prices out there since we're not accruing any days on market or history. But again, it is going to be an optional field. Next, we're going to go to expiration date. And remember, how long can I make this a flex listing? Well, it's all dependent on this date right here. So whatever your expiration date is how long you can have that flex listing in the MLS. All right, we're going to go to the next two required fields, which is going to be the map. So a little quick refresher here, you're going to hit the OK button and you're going to hit the plus button twice to zoom in and you should see that parcel number. Go ahead and click on that parcel number. When you see the correct one, it's going to drop a pin and fill out your latitude and longitude. Now I'm going to go to the next one under general, and that is just simply the sub property type. And this is going to be an SFR, our single family residence. Now there is not one highlighted right here under showing, but I do know that we will have this in there uh, by the time we go live guys and showing requirements is going to be the field. So we have added one in here uh, for you that I want to show, and that is called do not show. So you can show a flex listing, or if you do not want to show it, you will come right here under showing requirements and click do not show. And then last but not least, we're going to come down here to remarks and tours, and that is that internet display. So again, flex listings are only allowed to display on Val websites, okay, when the seller provides that direction. So when I say yes here, now this listing will only go to those Val websites. Even though I have selected my syndication websites, it will not get syndicated until this is turned into a full active listing. So we're going to go through here, finish out the rest of this. And then once we are done, uh, just like to uh, publish uh, a full listing, you're going to go right here to publish. And we're now going to publish our first flex listing.
Flex listings are found on a specific search form to emphasize lower exposure and make it easier for the market to adapt to the new listing dynamic. So where you're gonna go is you're gonna go under search right here and it can be found under cross property. So you're gonna come down here, cross property, and you're gonna see flex listings. Now, I always get the question, hey Jack, why do you have it twice? Same thing as residential. Well, once you go here enough, uh, Matrix wants to create a shortcut for and make your life easier, so that's what it's done here. So we're gonna go into the flex uh, search form, and you can see it's almost identical to what you see now, right? Uh, one thing you'll notice is the flex listing field is set to yes, okay? So it's always gonna be set there, and now, uh, one of the cool things is we can go and we could set up a search just like you normally would, go to those results. And then if I wanna send these on over, um, all I have to do is go ahead and check it off and I can email it or print it. Now, if I email it, it's gonna work just like it does today. So it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna drop it into their one home. Um, and you guys can um, just search through there. Your clients will be able to see it in that one home. That's their client portal. Um, you can also, um, when we go back over here, let me point this out. Uh, when you come to a listing that does not have a list price, we have right now for the current time, it says flex listing. So there's no list price for this one, just says flex listing, okay? That might change. We might put something else in this field uh, just to be real transparent. We still haven't uh, landed on that. And then it's gonna be right next to this field that will tell you, is this a flex listing, yes or no? So uh, really nice, plain up at the top right here. Um, and then, once you go down, one thing I also want to point out is the history tab is grayed out because there is no history accruing and there's also no days on market accruing. So that is one of those main benefits over here. Uh, we have no time accruing and no days on market. Now that we know how to find and view flex listings, let's turn our flex listing into a full active listing. So with the design of flex listings, Unlock MLS makes it super easy to make a flex listing a full active listing. So what we're going to do is we're going to revisit that same listing, that flex listing we turned active over here in the uh, edit. We're going to click right here on edit and it's going to pop up the choices and we have the input form. So that's where we're going to go back into. And again, that very first field is going to be flex listing. So, the great thing about this, in order to turn it into a full active listing, all you're gonna do is go right here and click on Flex Listing No. You're gonna see all those other fields pop up. Since I've started mine from tax, you'll see that I have very minimal uh, fields, so that's another reason starting this from tax is always a great idea. So now all I have to do is fill out these couple required fields right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we'll put in our list price right here. Then I'm gonna go down to my next required field over here and accessibility features. Okay, we'll say see remarks, we'll go down. And I have one more down here under remarks and tours. That's gonna to be directions. So again, directions uh, should always be, um, we'll put that in directions. When you're making these, don't put Google Maps, of course, but directions that are from the main highway and then go from there. So that's kind of how we want directions to go. And then after you have finished filling out all these other required fields, what we're gonna do is go back up to flex listings. We have it on no, and we're gonna go to publish listing. And now it's gonna turn into a full live listing. And then now all of those syndication sites that you had turned on, it is now gonna be fully on all of those syndicated sites, on all the VOW websites, and we're gonna have full exposure. This thing is ready for prime time. I hope this was helpful and gives you an idea of how you can utilize the power of flex listings. Now remember, we have unlockmls.com slash flex as the hub for all details related to flex listings. And always, please feel free to contact support at unlockmls.com if you have any questions.